day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Archer Studio. My name is Anwar and today I'll be testing out the rattan bows that I've made. So during the second lockdown here in Malaysia, I've actually built a few rattan bows and the idea is to identify which design is more closely resemblance to what we can assume the Malaysian bow or the Malay bow. So using rattan, rattan is easily accessible and available here in Malaysia. So I have done a few things and here I am in Archer Studio because they are making the strings for me. So let's see how the bows looks like. So for the first bow is this one. This is made from rattan and you can see there is actually CS on it along with a string bridge. And the handle is reminiscent to Turkish or Persian bows where it is bulbous in the front. So this rattan has been heat treated and uh, I think it draws roughly 30 pounds. So perhaps uh, you can see the draw profile. 30 pounds at 28 inches. But uh, it seems a little bit long and kind of bulky to be honest. So the second bow that I did is a tad bit smaller. Now this looks a lot more like a Turkish bow with the bulbous handle and much shorter here. So this bow draws about 28 pounds or a bit lesser. I would say probably close to 26, 27 pounds. So the third design is this one. This is more like a Tata bow. As you can see, the handle is curved inwards and it creates a reflex on the limbs. And here's the sear. This one here by far is most comfortable to shoot. This is about 30 pounds at 28 inches. Finally, after researching what's uh, popular in the region, we have identified that bows from Indonesia, some bows in Thailand, and even as far reaching as Vietnam, they all have a handle that is reminiscent to this, where on the front side is the handle, it's bulbous on the front, very similar to a Turkish bow. So this bow itself has been constructed from Manau Rattan and the handle as well. And here I have steel rings to hold the assembly in place and the whole bow has been heat treated and oil treated. So far this bow draws the heaviest at about 35 pounds at 28 inches. So in a minute, I will shoot these bows for you and I will tell you what I feel and uh, how the bow actually performs. Now bear in mind that the materials used for the bow are sourced uh, locally within the Nusantara region and everything is natural except for the string. So let's try it out. So the first one we're going to try is the one with the long CS. So we'll try with the thumb release first. So it feels really comfortable because it's really long. You don't feel a pinch. And uh, very little vibration. This is due to the construction. So let's try one more arrow before we change bows. So that's how it shoots, the first one. All right, so this is the second one, the much smaller Turkish looking one. So let's try it out. Still not used to the feel of it. And to be honest, a little bit worried to full draw the bow, but let's try it out. As you can see, with rattan, you are uh, going to get this kind of offsets, rendering the bow slightly asymmetrical. But this is easily fixed. Put your knee on this side and push it inwards. 
and oven. So let's try one more. And yes, much better. So the third bowl, the tasa looking bowl. So I'll be using the thumb to draw for the first set. Then after that, I'll use three fingers on the left hand to see how it feels like. So a few more arrows with this, then we'll go to the fourth bowl. Second arrow. So this one launches the arrow a lot faster. This could be the nature of the bow itself with the handle this way and there is actually a reflex here giving it a much more I would say stronger draw so to speak. So let's try the last bow. So we will be trying this one, the fourth bow and this is the bow that I mentioned that will probably resemble the closest to what a Malay bow would look like or a Malaysian bow would look like. So let's try it out. It really launches the arrow really really fast. But it stacks a bit because I still have to do some uh, shaping and tapering on the limbs. But as it is, it works. So here it is. So I'll retrieve the arrows and then I'll try to shoot all four bows using my left hand with the Mediterranean draw. Just to see how it feels like. So as it is for this one, this is the draw proof one. Really, really interesting feel. So here are some of the close-ups of this bow. And the string that I have made uh, here in Archer Studio is a Dacron 12 strands. So let's retrieve some the arrows and try it with the other hand. All right, so let's try this with the Mediterranean draw left hand. The first bow, the really long Turkish looking one. So here's the bow again. 30 pounds and 28 inches and really really comfortable to shoot. Alrighty, this is the smaller Turkish rotan board. Probably good for horseback archery, because of its size. Poundage is about 30 to 32 pounds actually. So this is the Turkish looking one. Now after this I will show you the target face to see how the accuracy is like for the bows. But remember it's the archer who makes the accuracy, not the bow. So this is the third one. The Tatar looking rattan bow. So let's try this. Lastly, this bow, the hypothesized Nusantara Omelie bow. 
So let's give it a few shots. This is more of a close up. I'll be retrieving the arrows and I will tell you my verdict and basically my direction with these bows. I actually wanted to show how the arrow fares, so I'm taking the camera with me to see. So, the distance that is roughly about so this is the kind of arrow placement with four different bows using various types of arrows. So uh, with the rattan bow, you can actually be quite rough with it. You can, you can take quite a lot of abuse. You can leave it strung up. You can use it under the sun. You can probably even use it in the rain. Rattan is a very durable material here in Malaysia. It is commonly used for furnitures, for uh, wickers, and uh, very likely for making bows in the older times. So these bows were made as part of my research project on the weapons and arms of the Nusantara region. And seeing that archery is one of my main focus, so I started with the bows first. And these bows are ultimately for sale. And the funds will be used for the continuous research on the subject. So if you're interested to get any of these bows, you may do so at a very, very cheap price. And it is going to further fund the research project that we are currently doing. So if you're interested in these bows, and if you'd like to purchase any one of it, contact us at Eureka Archery, both on Facebook and on YouTube, and recently on Instagram. For more information, for orders or any inquiries related to archery or these bows, find us at Eureka Archery. Till next time, my name is Anwar Matsan. Be an archer today.